Hello everyone, welcome to Recoding. Today we are going to learn how to create nav by using materialized CSS. If you haven't yet watched our previous videos, we highly recommend you to watch it. And the links for the videos are mentioned in the description box. So without any further ado, let's get started. We have already written boilerplate code for HTML beforehand. Now we can link our materialized CSS using link tab. For creating, we need to import jQuery from Content Delivery Network using its URL. We need to import it using script tag. Then we need to import materialized CSS using script tag. To create a nav, we need to create a nav inside it add. A link tag where you can place any logo you want and add a class brand logo. Then create an unordered list tag at class right as the logo by default placed on left side. Inside the ul tag, add list tag inside it, create a link tag and give any link name you want. And here you can see that a simple nav bar has been created. To move the logo and links, we just need to change the class as left and center or anything you want. If a link or page is active, we can show it using an active class. Now let's create a drop down. To create a drop down, we need to create an UL tag. Inside it, type id as drop down 1. This we need to pass inside a JavaScript code. Then type class drop down content. Then we can create link using li tags. To show a divider, we can add a divider tag. To show the drop down link in a nav bar, we need to create another list tag. Inside it, add a drop down button and link inside it.
Add drop down trigger class and data target as ID of our drop down list. For working of drop down, we need to add jQuery code. To type document ready function, this will evoke the function as soon as web browser loads. Inside the function, just add drop down trigger and add drop down function. This will invoke drop down on user click. To add icons inside our website, we can use Google's material design using the link of the font. Then inside our drop down, we can add icon using material icons class and type the name of the icon. Now let's make our navbar responsive so it will work on tablet, phone and computer pretty well. We need to hide the length when the screen side reaches to tablet screen size by using the class hide on medium and down. Then we need to create same link as in a navbar to the sidebar. Create UL tag, add side nav class and ID of mobile demo so we can fetch it while using JavaScript. Inside it, we can add our link tags. Then, inside a jQuery function, add our side nav function. As you can see that a nav link hide when device size is smaller. Now let's add a hamburger button which is a type of link. Inside a nav wrapper div, we need to add side nav trigger link. So when the device is small, a button will show and we can click and open side nav on small device. And here you can see that the side nav is now working fine. Let's now add tabs inside a navbar using nav extended class on a nav tag. Then add div of nav content class. 
Add UL tag with class of tabs and tabs transparent. Then create li tag which will have a tag class and add a link inside it. Similarly, we can add another link. Then we need to add link along with hashtag so that we can jump content when we click the tab. Let's now add a fixed navbar function by creating a div which is class of navbar fixed. Then add a nav tag inside it. Then create two different divs with ID similar to a different tab with different background color and different heights. And here you can see that a nav bar is fixed and tabs are working fine. Then let's create a floating nav button. Create a link tag and add class button floating, button large, half wave fab and waves effect and color. Inside it, add icon AD add button. And here you can see the floating button has been appeared on the nav bar. We can also add any kind of form input. We are showing how to add search bar in nav bar. For this, we need to create another UL tag on the right side. Then create a form tag. Inside it, add input field class div. 
Inside it add input tag of type search and id search. Then add a label, add label icon class. Inside it add icon tag along with material icon class and type search so that it can show magnifying glass and icon. And finally add cancel button so that we can inactive our input field. Oh, here we have written material icon, it should be icons. And here is a search bar working. So this is how we can create nav bar with materialized CSS. I really hope that you liked the video. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll see you in the next video.